welcome you all here tonight. This is our 15th year of Relay for Life. That's an accomplishment. We started in year 2000, so we've grown. Thank you all. And our event tonight is here for our survivors. We honor them tonight. This is all because of you guys. So thank you all for being here. So if you have your program, we would like for you to open for our Relay for Life Oath. And we'll start. In the name, repeat please, in, of Relay for Life participants, I confirm that we are here to celebrate the lives of cancer survivors to support those fighting cancer, those fighting cancer. And, to and to honor those we have lost. We have lost. Our, commitment Our commitment will be symbolized, will be symbolized in, every step we take, in every step we take, each and every one, each and every one moving, nearer moving nearer to our goal. The goal of cancer-free cancer world for future generations. Thank you. At this time, I'll turn it over to our speaker, Stacy Woolen. Okay. Everyone always asks me where the name of my salon came from. This is where my journey began. Okay. After several days of testing on October 26, 1999, at the age of 24, I was diagnosed with a brain tumor. It was a malignant tumor named oleodendroglioma. At that moment, all I could think about was my one and five year old, and of course, my husband. I wasn't really sure how I was going to prepare them for this life-changing event. I knew within that week, my Lord and Savior would prepare me and my family for whatever lay ahead of us. So on November 2nd, 1999, I went through a five and a half hour brain surgery. With God's hands upon me, recovery went very smoothly and I was home within 48 hours. I had healing time to the end of the year. The beginning of January 2000, I began six weeks of radiation. It was very hard trying six weeks because all I wanted to do was sleep. I was blessed to have the best family to support me through my treatments and healing. On February 14th of 2000, I was announced cured from cancer. It was the best Valentine's Day present you could get to celebrate another successful year cancer free. During this journey, I kept telling my husband Dewey, when I get better, I'm gonna open my own salon. I put it in God's hands, and little did I know he was already at work. On March 27th of 2000, New Beginnings, my own salon, opened for business. I give all my success to the Lord and Savior and my family. I want my family to know how much I appreciate them. Now everyone knows where my salon name came from, New Beginnings. For me, it was a New Beginnings 15 years in counting. Now, I'd like to ask my team to stand up, please. Thank you all very much. This is my support. Thank you. we would like to present our survivors, Representative Tommy Thompson and Ohio County Judge Executive David Johnson will help us recognize them. So survivors, if you will make your way up here one at a time, tell us your name and how long you've been cancer free.
Jerry Baxter, 16 years. Linda Walner, 13. Dale Smith, 12 years.
Sammy Gown, 25 years. Phyllis Titchener, 14 years. Roger Goff, six months. Fred McQuady, 18 and a half years.
Sheena Barfield. She is a bank. So if you all need to make deposits, we're in the concession stand, the bank is. Activities and laps, me, Debbie. Oh, I like this girl. Where's Nathan at? Nathan Ferris. <laughs> Nathan and Sheena. Community collaborators. collaborators. Nathan Phelps and Sheena. Nathan's going to be in charge of our glow run tonight at midnight. I expect every one of you all to be here. Logistics is Jody Fleener. Deb Witt. Richard Zachary. And Jenna Carter. Oh, Luminaries, Angie Witt, Ann Rawson, Ann is down in the luminary tent, and Christy Morgan. Publicity and marketing is Sonia Davis. Recognition, Debbie again. Jack of all trades and a master of none. And I do mean that they nominate me for a lot of things that I have no idea that I'm doing. Thank you, Carol. Team recruitment is Jody Fleener. Survivors, Teresa Zachary. Sponsorship is Brittany Keel. She's got a way walking with her team. And then also we'd like to recognize Laura Taylor, who is our community representative from the American Cancer Society. She's not here with us right now, but she will be later this evening. Thank you, committee, for doing an outstanding job this year for Relay. Don't move yet. Don't move yet, okay? Brittany, Brittany. They like to take pictures. You told me to take pictures. All right, I did. Did you want to come to me? Oh, you so good. Yes, I'd like to recognize our teams at this time, but I want, would like to again thank you all for coming and participating and helping us to find a cure for cancer by your donations. This is going to be a night that's going to be going by really, really fast. Uh, we will be closing at 1 o'clock in the morning, so we'll start our activities here in just a little while, but right now we'll recognize our teams. Rice drugs, or rice, I'm sorry. Bad habit. Rices, are you guys ready? Our mission statement states that we will be a Christ centered pillar of the community providing compassion, service. We serve in an environment where we see the effects of the disease and believe in one way we can serve others compassionately is to give back by joining the fight against cancer. Their theme is Beat It, Cancer, and Just Beat It. Thank you, Rices. This is New Assembly Church. They have been participating in Relay for seven years. And why do they relay? We relay because we have all been touched by cancer in some way. We know through God all things are possible. We also would like the community to know that there is hope and to never give up hope. Their theme is Care Bears. We care a lot about a cure for cancer. We believe in a future without cancer. We believe in supporting survivors and honoring the taken. We believe in a world without fear. We are bankers for a cause. This is our second year participating in the Life Life and plan on many more, but hope for a cure. Thank you. Prayer warriors. We relay for the lost loved ones, one still fighting, and of course their survivors. We relay for hope for a better tomorrow in a cancer-free world. All right, prayer warriors, thank you.
Christie's Crusaders have been relaying for two years, and the reason they relay, I relay for a lot of reasons, my friends and family that I have lost, and all those still fighting cancer, because we will find a cure. Hope, pray, believe is their theme. New beginnings. There is a number of reasons why we relay. We all know someone who has fought in a fight and fighting the battle. We love to show our support and to let others know that we are not, they are not fighting alone. This battle is not one to be taken, I'm sorry, to be fought alone and relaying brings the ones fighting, the survivors, and to remember the ones who lost. We relay tonight for Stacy Woolen, who is a 15 year survivor. Their theme is celebration. Come celebrate and party with us. Professional Care, Health, and Rehab has been participating in Relay since the year 2001. Their theme this year is Destroy Cancer, Fight, Defy, Win. This team is also a corporate sponsor, and through various fundraisers, they are hoping that their hard work and contributions to the American Cancer Society, that the battle to find a cure will soon be found. Until then, they will continue the fight. Team Captain Debbie Puckett invites you to stop by their campsite for Polish sausage with peppers and onions. Warriors, they have been participating in Relay for two years. Last year our team joined the fight to find a cure. We continue to Relay because we believe one person can make a difference and a whole team of people can change the future. Our mission is to one day be undefeated and beat cancer with a cure that will provide our loved ones with a second chance at life. We relay for life. And their theme, I love 80s photo booth. This team is the Blast from the Past from the Family Wellness Center, and they relay for their mission statement, which is to promote health and wellness, and to beat wellness is to beat cancer. OCTs for a cure. This is their first year. And the reason they relay is since I lost my grandmother to cervical cancer. So supporting the survivors and raising money to help find a cure is why we relay. They're their 80s team. 